everybody Mike here so in today's video I'm going to show you how we pour a 4400 square foot storage shed slab now this slab is 220 feet long and 20 feet wide and it's going to take about 75 yards of concrete so I'm going to show you the process that we use to get a slab like this poured now if this is your first time watching me if you're new to this channel my name's Mike Gay this is my my channel all about concrete everything about concrete and uh, if you like that kind of stuff, you know, go ahead and hit subscribe. I come out with a couple videos a week showing you everything I know about concrete, teaching you guys and trying to help you guys learn all the skills and techniques it takes to pour concrete. So we got the first truck in here. These are 10 yard trucks. Um, we're pouring 3000 PSI concrete with fiber mesh in it. And as you can see, we got, we got poly vapor barrier down. We got wire mesh in this thing that Sean there, the guy running the chute, he's pulling up the wire as we go. And um, we're using about a, we're pouring about a six inch slump. And for you guys that have watched me before, you know I always use a water reducer in here so we can pour a, you know, a, a loose enough slump that's pretty easy to work with without adding extra water to it. And that's what the water reducer allows us to do without, without uh, hurting the strength of the concrete. So I'm, I'm shooting some grades now. You can see the laser over there to the right. Way in the background over there to the right is what I'm using. And these storage shed slabs, now they have a shelf all around the outside edge. If you can tell, if you look at the outside edge there, we have a, a one and a half inch by one and a half inch board kind of hanging there. And that's the top of the slab on the inside. And then the concrete goes under that one and a half inch board and it matches the height of the outside form. So it has that little shelf all the way around the outside, about a 10 inch wide shelf. And when, when these guys build these storage sheds, they, they build them on the outside shelf part, the part that's an inch and a half lower. That way, no water can get up under the outside wall and onto the top of the floor. So people's belongings won't get flooded so it's a little bit of a trick pouring a shelf uh, forming a shelf like that and then pouring it you know you kind of really need to know what you're doing at first to get it done right but it's once you know how to do it and know what you're doing it's not too bad but it does take one guy you know as you, when we're pouring a slab like this we got one guy dedicated just to mag in that little outside part and making sure that comes out right you can't see him right now, but he's off to the right in the background there. But uh, it does take one extra guy just to do that. But it looks really nice when you get it done. I'll, you know, I'm coming out. My, my private membership group is coming out real soon, guys. And I'm going to teach you guys just how to form these, how to pour them, and how to power trial finish them, as well as, you know, how to price them, how to estimate them and bid them. Because you can make pretty good money doing these if you know what you're doing. So... The sign-up link is down in the description below for that. If, you know, just let me know if you're interested. That it'll be a private membership site where, you know, I have more exclusive type trainings in there, how to run, you know, a concrete business in there, and how to pour concrete, all kinds of concrete, how to finish it, you know, repairing concrete. There'll be epoxy floors in there. Everything I know in my business, I'm going to put in there. So, if you guys want more, more teaching, more learning, more knowing how to run a business. You know, that'll be for you guys in there. So what we're doing here is we, the, you know, our basic strategy is we attack this thing one truck at a time. We get 10 yards dumped out. Then we get our edges mag, get our grade shot. We screed it, bull float it, and we dump out another truck. So it's going to take, you know, just just over seven trucks to do this. So it's it's just a process. You can see the guy over there on the left. Now he's the guy that's just doing magging those outside edges and making sure, you know, the concrete doesn't just keep sagging underneath that little form and bulging it up. So he's making sure that comes out good. So when we go back to finish this thing, you know, we don't have too much work to do to get it perfect. You can see we're getting that truck dumped out. I'm, I'm going around, you know, I got the grade stick in my hand. So I'm double checking grades, making sure that all our grades are perfect. We don't want anything to be off. So when they come to build this thing, you know, the slab is 
as perfectly level as we could possibly get it with a laser and there's no problems when they go to because it's a steel building so there's not a lot of room for error here so we want to make sure that the slab part is level and that shelf part is level so the shelf part actually slightly slopes away a little bit so you know if it does rain there won't be any water sitting on that little shelf if you look way in the background off to the left you can see some storage buildings way back there that we did a year ago so there's a bunch of other slabs back there that we've already done and this is phase two of this project so we got this slab this one's 220 by 20 and then we got one there's three of them here the the middle slab is is 30 by 200 and then there's another one way off to the right over there kind of way in that back where that concrete truck is off to the right there's another slab just like this one 220 by 20 that we're setting up and pouring so it's a good project for us a lot of money involved in these slabs so uh, you know if you've never done one of these if you've seen them and never done them well now's your time to learn about them so you can add them to your uh, add them to your things you offer other people there's a ton of these storage shed buildings in Maine I know that for sure they're everywhere so I don't know if you can tell but so when we dump these trucks you know we got one guy kinda one guy stays running the chute one guy does most of the raking which is Luke and then you got obviously the guy magging the little outside edge and then you got me doing grades and magging edges on the inside and then Darren's helping Luke rake a little bit but he's also doing all the screeding with the vibra screed so the vibra screed makes this makes leveling this thing really easy I mean that that thing just does a ton of work and then you got Sean will jump in there and help rake you know in between trucks so when you got two guys raking behind that vibra screed it makes it go really easy the board on the screen is 12 feet, you know, and inside that slab is 20, so there's there's quite a bit of overhang with the board, so that also helps make sure it's nice and level. Then I'll grab that bow float. You know, we got enough handles to go across the whole thing, so it, it, bow floating this thing's pretty fast. At the end of the video, you know, stay tuned to the end. I got I'm also going to show you a small clip of us power trialing and finishing this thing, and then. The next video I do will be, I'll show you just how we finish these things. You know, there's a process to that too. You gotta make sure with, depending on how many guys you have, you know, how you keep up with it so it doesn't drive on you too fast. So change the angle of the camera a little bit, got you a little bit closer, you know. Now we're going, this is probably what the third or the fourth truck we're on now so we're getting down to halfway and we started pouring we started pouring these things at 6 a.m. in the morning and we were done pouring them by about 8 o'clock so sometimes 730 so they go along pretty good if you got enough guys every guy knows his job they know what to do so that makes a real big difference when when nobody has to keep telling somebody what to do. I think for you guys out there who have your own business and you've got guys that can just motivate themselves and understand what's going on, you know what I mean by that. I'm shooting those pads in the middle, you know, I'm going about I'm going about every twelve feet and shooting a pad. That board is a that's a fourteen foot straight edge right there. So we're making our pads in the middle close enough so they're real easy to strike off. That's called a wet pad in the middle. So we got a wet pad in the middle we're going by and then we're magging the slab to the top of that inch and a half form to the outside. So that's what we're using for grades. There's no slope to these slabs. I mean when they build a storage shed slab like this they're all level everything's perfectly level at least as level as you can possibly get it you 
You can see Jim, he keeps going back, nagging those edges, making sure the edges are all nice. That makes a big difference when you go back to finish these things. You know, if your edges, you can get your edges as perfect as possible when you pour this thing. The finishing process is so much easier. Especially when you're out in the sun like this. Temperatures are in the 70s or 80s. You want to get things as close as you can the first time around. So we're just continuing the process. Pouring out a truck. Shooting our grades. Getting our edges mag. Screeding it. Bow floating it. And then the next truck shows up. We back him in. And we repeat. You can see I'm magging that top piece now. I got the grade stick right in my hand. I'm checking every every five or six feet. I'm checking that form, make sure nothing's moved. You can see all the braces we put on that form. Look at all. The, I mean, every four feet there's a brace. There's a there's a metal pin. There's hundreds of pins we had to drive in this thing to get it formed up quite a process. It's actually probably more work to form it than it is to pour it. How many of you guys out there use a Viber screed like we do? I mean, let me know down in the comments if you viber screed stuff like this or if you just hand screed it. What, what do you guys do? And who, who has, I mean, who's never poured a slab this size? Are you, have you ever even tried one or do you not have the crew to do one or do you just mainly stick with small stuff? Let me know down in the comments too. I'll have all these tools guys, links for all these tools we use will be down in the description of the video. So you can check them out if you, if you want to check them out or if you want one like what we use. Hey guys, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. We're pouring this big storage shed slab today, it's 220 by 20, four inches thick, it's got a thick edge. We're on uh, truck number six, so we're getting up in the 60s for yardage. We've got another truck on the way, and then we'll figure a balance after that. So we're gonna be right around 80 yards for this slab today. Sometimes when guys form these up instead of using that little one and a half by one and a half board like we're doing and hanging it, they'll screw a two by ten down flat for that shelf and then they'll have to strip that two by ten out when they're done. And what happens is, you know, you try to vibrate under that two by ten, but it still has a lot of air pockets in it and you end up having to either patch those or or strip the form early and try to try to sponge them or mag them out to make it look nice. Well, doing it this way eliminates having to do that, just hanging that one and a half inch and letting the concrete go right under it. So when when this stuff starts setting up, you know, when we go to start finishing it, we'll strip that one and a half inch board right out of there with those with those boards that are kind of hanging it there, those ones going across, those little two by fours. We'll take them right off. And then we'll mag that out and we'll broom finish it. So it looks really nice when we're done, like really professionally done. No air pockets and uh, nice and clean looking. We're getting down towards the end now. Again, stay tuned for the end of the video so you can see how, how I'm going to show you what we do to finish these things. That'll be coming right up here soon. So. It's, it's 
you know, that's another whole process. Pouring it's one thing, but finishing it's another. So it's nice it's nice when you know how to do both really, really well. It just uh, makes the day go a lot easier and not have to stress over power trial on this thing. We left that end board out, obviously, so we could back those trucks right in. So when we get done dumping this truck, we have the form just sitting there all ready to go. So we'll set the form back in place, screw it in, pin it, and then I can check it with the laser to make sure everything's perfect with it. But it just makes it so much easier to pour these things if you can back them right inside versus trying to pour them from the outside. See, it only pretty much takes three guys to screed this. You know, Darren's running the Viber screed, and you got Luke and Sean right behind him. Yeah, so, you know, we had to wait a few minutes for that last truck to show up, the balance load. Got that last form all in, and now we can finish this up. You can see there's only three of us here now, so we had to send a couple guys back to where we started to start stripping the, that little inch and a half shelf form off, you know, and start finishing that little section because it was a, the concrete was drying up pretty good up, up where we started. So the three of us will get this last truck dumped out and then we'll have to jump right back on it and start finishing. So again guys, if you like these kind of videos, you know, go ahead down there and smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. Those if you guys the more you hit the like button, the uh, the better YouTube ranks my videos so that helps me out a lot helps a lot more people get to see the videos and if you haven't subscribed yet you know go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button like I said I come up with a couple videos a week all kinds of different things to do with concrete you know floors slabs pool decks patios walkways um, we pour a lot of different types of concrete we do a lot of decorative stuff we do epoxy floors, so if you like that kind of stuff, you know, hit subscribe. Well, this is it. This is the last bay. Darren's screeding down this last bay. We'll get that Viber screed out of there. Need a little bit more concrete, I guess, to fill that up. And we'll get things all washed up and, and start finishing. And this is how we're going to finish this, guys. This will be next week's video. So come on back next week. See how we finish these things. And thanks for watching, guys.